Inside Guelph. It's time for our business community update. The Chamber of Commerce, Lloyd Longfield. Good to see you again. It's always good to be here, Trish. And you brought a special guest with you. I Hi, did. Sarah. I did. Yeah. Sarah Guinda from Isaac. Isaac. Okay, yeah. so we're learning about Isaac today. Yes, we are. Okay, tell me about Isaac, Lloyd. Well, Isaac is an organization that is uh, student-run. It's around the world, and it it's involved in bringing interns from around the world to the business community, which is where the Chamber of Commerce comes in. That's right. And we sit on the uh, advisory board of Isaac and yeah. uh, help them to connect students from around the world to businesses in Guelph for intern positions. Oh, okay. And you are part of the program, Sarah. I am. Um, I'm Vice President of Communications for our local chapter here at the University of Guelph. And uh, yeah, we're really excited to be working with the Chamber. That sounds like an impressive title to put on a resume. Uh, it is, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's certainly a perk. <laughs> <laughs> it's a perk. So what does it mean to you to be part of this program? What are you getting out of it? Um, I think for any student that becomes a member of their local Isaac chapter, it's a great opportunity for business uh, training, um, professionalism, those kind of skills that you don't necessarily gain in your curriculum. Um, with your university program. That's right. And how about how many students are coming over? I mean, how is this all being organized and working? Do they get to choose to come over? Yep. We have, um, we have a global network, so universities across the world, we all have a database, and depending on the internship or where a student would like to go, they have a, a pretty broad variety of choices uh, for where they can go and what kind of internship they'd like to take part in. Are you looking to one? Oh, um, I cut off Lloyd. I, love it. <laughs> <laughs> I get so excited. Uh, <laughs> Absolutely, yes. I'd love to go on an internship. Do you know, eventually. do you have a place in mind? I would definitely like to go for a development internship in Kenya. Ooh. Yeah. And that's an opportunity. Yep, There absolutely. is an Isaac program there. Oh. And around the world, Canada is a great place to come. Yep. So there's always a demand for students wanting to come to Canada. And in Guelph, we have nine students right now. We have one that's um, from the Ukraine that's in IT and he's working at one of our local accounting firms. Oh, and nice. so while he's here, he's connecting to the other IT people and how Canadians manage IT and things like that. So and what does he say? I mean, do you, do you get some feedback? Have you had a chance to talk to I him? I haven't had a chance to meet him yet. Okay. I was uh, uh, looking forward to doing that. But w what we want to do is connect him to our IT community as we've talked about, yeah. get together once a month at demo camp and uh, at the e-bar downtown be a great chance for him to get there and see oh, yeah. who's doing what where. Yeah. And what also happens is a lot of the students apply for resident status and they want to stay in Canada once they get a taste of Guelph. You don't want to be leaving. So. Clearly. Yeah. Not that we're biased at no, all. No. <laughs> well, Sarah, you must talk to some of the students that come in. What's the feedback you're getting? Um, a lot of the interns and those that have, um, the business partners that have been hosting the interns have been very positive. They really enjoy the interns that they are hosting and are very happy with the work that's being done. Mm -hmm. And the interns are having a great time. They yeah, really love Guelph and they love the work they're doing. I bet. It's such a give and take you yep. be learning. And they have a big event in October. Yep. Isaac's o organizing a conference with Ontario and the Maritimes, bringing 12 universities with 125 students to come to Guelph talk about leadership, to talk about what's going on in their Isaac chapters, what they're doing internationally, who's getting placed in their local communities, and so we're looking at a large event coming up. Yep. Oh, that's Absolutely. huge. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, and it's a great opportunity for our delegates to kind of get some experience, and it's also a great opportunity for us to kind of advertise Guelph and the University of Guelph and what we have to offer. So yes, and, and it's, uh, see, I'm so competitive. It would be so hard <laughs> bringing in the other universities be like, and see this. <laughs> so <laughs> good. So good. And the other thing is for those students coming in to meet the Guelph business community, and the Guelph business community gets to meet some top students, the people that are creative, they're outside the classroom, they're working in their communities, they're looking at doing things around the world. I mean, employers would love to meet these types of people. And you're so. saying they have quite a reputation, I mean, world leaders with Isaac programming. Yeah. And yeah. I think that's an aspect of the Isaac internship program that kind of sets us apart from other internship programs that we do have this training that we give to our students before they go away on an international exchange. Brilliant. Well, yep. thank you for being here, Sarah. It's a pleasure meeting you. Thank you. It was a pleasure being I'll here. I'll come out in October and just like, <laughs> off. good to have our business community update. Thanks, good Trish. to see you, Lloyd. Thanks for giving us the talk. Oh, I love this upcoming segment because I love books so much. It's our monthly book review with the Guelph Public Library. Stay with us.